these people are doing their job, when emergency situations occurs at the depths, you need to change the bulb at 2,000 feet height, or to fight against dangerous diseases. It's hard to imagine what would happen with humanity, without these people. This is the laboratory of the highest level of biosafety precautions, level 4, and is appropriate for work with viruses, that could be easily air transmitted, and cause serious or fatal disease, for which there are no available vaccines or treatments. Meet the microbiologists and virologists. They do research, of the most dangerous viruses and bacteria. Their suits, have the highest level of biological protection, and protect them from dangerous contact. But if something goes wrong, they are at high risk to be infected. That's why, their profession is one of the most dangerous. Deep Sea Divers They carry out rescue operations and repair work at great depths. Like saving a submarine crew, or repairing deep water equipment on offshore drilling platforms. Only 35 persons, have ever dived below a depth of 790 feet, in recreational self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. But what if there is a need, to dive much deeper? They use an atmospheric diving suit for very deep dives, up to 2,300 feet. The suit like this, costs about $250,000, but the diver doesn't need special breathing gas mixtures, like oxyhelium, which costs about $125,000 for a 1,000 feet dive, and there is no danger of decompression sickness, or nitrogen narcosis. On August 1, 2006, U.S. Navy diver Daniel Jackson, submerged to 2,000 feet depth, and set a world record. The world's deepest mine, is a gold mine in South Africa Hauteng province. Its depth is over two. One of the most dangerous professions is drilling for gas and oil offshore. Workers are on shift for an average of 12 hours a day, dealing with highly combustible materials on a platform, where cranes swing heavy equipment constantly overhead. All of this isolated hundreds of miles off coast. If something goes wrong, the Coast Guard responds, though even in the best case scenario, help is not close. An explosive ordnance disposal operator. Technical specialists in neutralizing all types of explosive hazards and threats, including those that involve chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear materials. And he's not allowed to make a mistake.
a technician who works in tower industry, performs maintenance and repair on radio masts and towers, at heights up to 2,000 feet. Profession hazards, structural collapses of towers, falling objects, equipment failures, electrical hazards and falls from great heights. Working on cell phone towers is the most dangerous job in the United States. The little known dangers that astronauts face. Space junk. The thermosphere is full of junk. There are estimated 300 million pieces of a space junk like screws, rocket and satellite.